So I want to talk just real quick about the soil and the grass and what the cows are doing here. Um, it's more than just raising cows. I told you how this farm has been farmed, you know, crop farmed for four decades or more. Um, petroleum fertilizers, you know, chemical sprays to manage whatever was out there before we got here. And in the process of doing that, it kind of consumes and uh, it encourages the biological activity in the ground so much and plowing it and aerating it that it burns out all the organic matter that's in the soil. You know, if you ever walk through a forest floor, for example, you know how spongy that soil is? There's tons of organic matter in it. You can see on the dirt over here where that nursery farmer, um, there, there's no organic matter in that soil. It's hard as a brick. When it's dry, you can't crumble it. You can't stomp on it and break it apart. It's, it's, it's brick-like. So what we're doing here by, by leaving a pasture in permanent pasture, um, as a grass plant grows, you know, the leaves above ground grow and, and they'll get this tall. Well, the roots below ground are matching that growth and the roots are growing deep as the leaves are growing high. And when the cow comes along and it bites off that, that, that grass, uh, and the grass is now only this tall, that, that plant can no longer photosynthesize enough food to support that root structure. So it sheds the roots. And, and then you've got a grass plant with short roots and short grass. And by shedding the roots, it just added all that organic matter back to the soil underneath the ground that you can't see. But then the key is you got to get the cows off the grass, because if you don't let that grass regrow, then the roots won't regrow. If you keep it permanently short, you got permanently short roots and there's nothing going on more than an inch or two below the surface. So we get the cows on here. They've been on here since night before last. Thursday night I put them here. They've eaten it. It looked like that Thursday night. <clears throat> and now it's time to move them so that this grass can regrow and that grass can shed its roots <laughs> and add organic matter. So I'm going to go do that. I'm going to go move the cows. I'll just take this with me. So you can see how easy it really is. Come cows. Come on. That was pretty easy, huh? What's that? Yeah, they, they know where there's better grass. They know whenever I show up, there's better grass on the other side of the fence. So, and on a normal day, I'd take the I'd take another wire and string it out there for tomorrow. I'd set up tomorrow's paddock. Um, but there's already another wire out there, so so they're confined to about this same size area right now, right here. Do you ever let them in with cows? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the cows, we'll, we let them in with the chickens. We graze right through the middle of those hoop houses over there and everything with the cows. We'll string a hot wire around it on a solar charger to keep the cows from rubbing on those things. And they'll just, they'll go through those pastures and chickens will be, there, there's chickens on the backs of the cows hitching a ride. Good question about the winter time. Um, we learned the hard way that cows are just too heavy for our ground here in the Willamette Valley floor in the winter time when it's soaking wet with water. So another reason for buying cows and being partners with the guy up on the hill is about Thanksgiving time. If there's any cows left of mine here on this farm, they're going up there on the hill to his place for the winter. And likewise, some of these that we're looking at here are actually his. I've got more grass than I know what to do with, and so he brought some down here to graze. So he and I are kind of trading ground back and forth. And it, it, 
It, yeah, it works well. That way we don't destroy the ground. I mean, they'll turn this pasture into soup if we left them out here in the winter time. It would just be, it would ruin the whole, the whole thing. We're gonna see the pigs next. I think the pigs are probably asleep in the barn, but they have access to this whole pasture on the other side of the lane. And they're usually out there in the morning and the afternoon, evening, but in, the, in, in the, this time of day, we're gonna find them sleeping in the barn. 